Port! Arms! Keg fell in the battle. <laughs> no flint. No dogged screw. Did you ever fire this musket? No, sir. Have you ever fired a musket? Once, sir. One day. If you wanted to kill somebody with this gun, you'd have to beat him over the head with it. Mind you, you're big enough for that, aren't you? What's your name, soldier? O'Rourke, sir. O'Rourke. Where would you be from, or? Well, my dad's from Galway, sir, but I was born... Galway? Oh, that's nice. I'm from Donegal myself. Do you know what else I am, or? No, sir. Eyes front! I'm ashamed and disgusted, so I am, that an Irishman can keep his gun in half-decent order. Jesus, you wouldn't kill an Englishman with that. Never mind a bloody Frenchman. What the hell do you think you're doing? Making an inspection. Haven't you learned to ask a commanding officer's permission before inspecting his men? When I got here, there were no officers. And until I'm introduced to an officer, there still won't be no officers. Damn your impudence, sir! I am the Earl of Kiley, Colonel of the Real Compania Rialandi, sir. Major Richard Sharp, South Essex. Lord Wellington has chosen me to be your tactical advisor. Drill sergeant, you mean? <laughs> I give lessons in killing, too. Lord Kiley wants you to know that my job is to teach you how to be soldiers. Not parade ground soldiers, but battlefield soldiers. Look at it. A piece of lumber. You couldn't fire the thing in a month of Fridays. But you can still kill with it. And the best person to kill on a battlefield is always the enemy officer. Remember that. Kill them first, then the sergeants, and after that you can kill any poor bastard you want. But, if you've shot your ball, then what you do is turn the musket and club the buggery out of the horse's mouth. I guarantee the horse will throw its rider. And when the overpaid, overdressed monk is sitting on it, it's the turf, you can finish him off while he's still stunned. Have you ever seen that done, Sergeant Harper? I've seen it done well, sir. Have you ever done it yourself? More times than I can count. And were they all frog officers? Of course they weren't. We've killed officers in blue coats, red coats, even officers in white coats. Because I don't care what army an officer fights for, what colour coat he wears, or what king he serves. A bad officer is better off dead. And a good soldier had better learn how to kill him. Isn't that right, Sergeant Harper? Right as rain, sir. Listen hard, gentlemen. I know every skiving, dishonest, malingering army trick there is. How's that? Because I started off where you did, in the ranks. Remember that. My name is Sharp, Major Sharp, and I'm going to teach you to be soldiers. <laughs>